We are back today with episode six in our running apparel review series. And in today's video, we are taking an in-depth look at a running brand I hadn't come across before until they contacted the channel. I've got to say, I've been very impressed with all the kit that they sent us down to test, especially their Sherpa running shorts. Welcome back, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope everybody is fit and well out there in YouTube world and maybe you're just starting to get a little bit excited with Christmas on the horizon. So in today's video, we are taking a look at running apparel brand T8 Run and they are based all the way over in Hong Kong. The brand was born to try and handle those hot and humid conditions that runners in that part of the world were having to deal with. So they set about developing ultralight kit for minimum heat insulation uh, extra wicking properties to make it quick drying, but also high levels of breathability for maximum airflow. And their tagline is ultra light, super cool and chafe free. Now, they don't have a massive range of items. T8 Run choose to focus on a few high performance garments. So let's dive into the video, go through all the items that we've been testing out for this review. So the first item we're taking a look at is a pair of t 8 Sherpa shorts. Uh, this is the second version of the shorts, so they've just had an update. They're constructed using a 80% nylon and 20% elastane lightweight performance fabric. So they weigh in at the crazy weight of only 85 grams. They have a four-way stretch and they come with the added bonus of a DWR coating for a bit of water repellent. We've got some really cool looking uh, reflective detailing worked into the front and the back of the shorts for a bit of nighttime safety. And we've got something that I haven't seen before. We've got a reversible drawstring. So that can be used on the outside of the shorts like it is now, or you can pull it through and use it on the inside of the waistband. And they come with the party trick of having a hyper mesh bounce free belt worked into the waistband of the shorts. In the updated version of the Sherpa shorts, that belt now comes with a four pocket configuration and it also has a handy key attachment in there for a bit of extra safety. You've got some nice pull tabs for easy access and the shorts don't come with an internal liner or an internal brief like a more traditional running short. And we'll get into why they don't a little bit later in the review. They're available in seven different sizes from extra small all the way through to double XL. Four colorways up for grabs and they retail in the UK for £49. So like I was saying no internal brief in these shorts and that nicely leads us on to our next item and it is T8's Commando Men's Running Underwear. Now, the brand claimed that these are the lightest full leg running underwear available on the market today, and they weigh in at a crazy 40 grams. I can definitely vouch for the lack of weight when it comes to these shorts, because as I sit here speaking to you guys, it feels like I'm hardly holding anything. So they're constructed out of a very breathable, high wicking and ridiculously soft performance fabric that's 90% Italian blend polyamide and 10% elastane. We've got no inner thigh seams and we've got super smooth stitching just to try and avoid any chafing. And believe it or not, this pair of running underwear comes with a chafe free guarantee or your money back. And I love stuff like that. It shows that the brand has got faith in the kit it's producing. The Commando underwear also come with a performance waistband and a six inch inseam for full leg protection. They're available in five different sizes from extra small all the way through to extra large and they retail only for 15 pounds. Moving on and we have their men's short sleeved iced tea and this has been constructed using panels of super light performance fabric but it's also got a 37.5 cooling treatment worked into it and I'm sure I can hear you all at home saying what is a 37.5 cooling treatment and if I'm honest I didn't know either so I had to look it up and basically that means that the fabric has been treated using believe it or not active particles from volcanic sand and apparently they've got 
billions of microbes that massively increase the surface area of the fabric. So when you get hot, them active particles use the body's energy to take away moisture, keeping you nice and cool. So all pretty clever stuff. Now, I don't know whether this will show on camera, but we've got some really nice little perforations worked into the fabric there. So that makes it highly breathable. We've got some nice low profile flat lock seams to minimize chafing. It's available in four different colorways and five different sizes from extra small through to extra large. And it retails for a very affordable 20 pounds and last up is their 270 ml sherpa soft flask so these have been designed to fit perfectly into that waistband belt on the sherpa shorts they're also available in a 330 ml option and that comes in a nice pink colorway they have a high flow bite valve they are leak proof in design and they are constructed using a durable non-toxic recyclable bpe free polyurethane the 270 ml option retails for only six pounds and the 330 only seven pounds so great value when it comes to our soft flasks so there you have it that is all the kit that we've been testing over the last month from t8 run i've actually found myself spending a lot of time in these sherpa shorts and i've been reaching for them more and more often so let's go into a bit more detail about how all the kit has performed and see if there's anything there that we feel could be improved so first up is the men's iced tea and the first thing i noticed when i put it on is just the crazy weight of the fabric that's used in the construction it really is a super lightweight tea weighing in at only 83 grams i can hardly feel i'm wearing it at the time and this is a feeling that has crossed over to all the kit that we've tested from T8 Run. I think it's really nice to have these sort of stretchy mesh panels, really helps with airflow and all the fabric just feels super breathable. You really can see that it's been designed to run in those high humidity environments, especially with that 37.5 cooling technology worked into the fabric. It does feel very soft and very cool against the skin. I've had no irritation chafing rubbing of any description and the tea has performed really well on every run. Uh, I would say it's not the most uh, um, attractive piece of running kit that I've ever used. Um, maybe a bit more attention on the looks of the top, but it's definitely fit for purpose. One thing I will mention that on the T8 Run website, it does say because of the fabrics that have been used in the construction of the T, if you are running long distance with a pack on, that you might cause some damage to the fabrics because of rubbing. So just something to be aware of. I personally think with the level of technicality worked into the tea, the fabrics that have been used, having that 37.5 cooling technology worked in as well, I think for £28, you are getting a high performing tee for really good value. Moving on to the two pairs of shorts, and if I'm honest, these are the two items that have impressed us the most. So this pair of men's running underwear are super, super comfy. and probably the best pair of running underwear that I've ever, ever used. And over the years, I've used lots of brands from Runderwear, Ron Hill and Raid Light. And these Commandos are definitely the best of the bunch. They really are so soft and lightweight that it does feel like you're wearing nothing. And I get it, Commandos wearing nothing. Very clever T8 run, but you really do feel like you haven't got any underwear on, but you're still getting a nice level of support, which I think is a pretty clever thing to achieve. Having no front inner leg seams and the fact that they've moved that waistband seam off center so that it's not gonna rub on your lower back kind of shows the attention of detail and a thought process that has gone into what looks like a pretty simple piece of running kit, but it's actually quite technical. The fact that they retail for only 50 pounds I think is really great value and I can see myself getting several more pairs of these and using them a lot for my long runs in the future so I feel I've left the best till last because these Sherpa shorts really have performed so well on every run. Like all the stuff we've tested from T8, they are super lightweight, highly breathable, weighing in at only 85 grams. And when you think about it, that is a pair of running shorts and a super functional waist belt, all for under 100 grams in weight. In a men's medium, the shorts have fitted me really well. And I think they're about a four or five inch in length. And that's perfect for me. I spend most of my time running in a four or five inch short they've got a really nice stretch to them 
Great fabrics used, super comfortable. They feel nice and light and airy when you're out running in them. And then obviously you get that added bonus of having that belt worked into the waistband and a really good belt at that. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a big fan of a running belt and I tend to wear one for most of my runs. So it's been really refreshing to grab the Sherpa shorts, stick them on and not spend the next five or 10 minutes looking for one of those running belts because we've got one worked into the waistband. I like the way that TA have separated that waistband into four pockets. So you've got two smaller pockets on the side and then a, a bigger pocket on the back, say for a mobile phone and a big pocket on the front if you wanna use one of them Sherpa soft flasks. We've got the addition of little handy pull tabs on the pockets and this is something that's been missing off some of my other running belts. So really makes it easy to get access in and out of those pockets. A nice little feature, and this is new to the new version of the Sherpa Short, and it is a little clip for your car keys. So again, you can clip them on there, it gives you peace of mind that your keys are nice and safe. And again, having that belt worked into the waistband means we've got good depth to that waistband. So the shorts have felt very comfortable and very supportive around the lower back. And finishing off the Sherpa shorts, TA actually give you a pack of detachable race bib holders in this nice cool packaging. And speaking of packaging, all the kit turned up uh, in really unfussy packaging, very simplified, quite smallly packed. And also a lot of that packaging is recyclable, which is really good to see brands doing that. So yeah, the bid number holders literally clip through them pull tabs on the pocket so you can display your race number without having to pin it through your nice new race kit. Obviously having no internal brief in the short, you'd have to wear something underneath and, and that's where the commando underwear comes in. You can probably tell, I've been a massive fan of the Sherpa shorts and how they've performed. They've really, really impressed me. And they do feel very similar to some of the S-Lab um, apparel from Salomon that I've got. Uh, when it comes to the fit, the feel, the fabrics and the performance, very, very similar, but obviously at a fraction of the price. So compared to the Salomon range, them S-Lab overshorts are around about 65 pounds. Then you have to spend money on the undershort with the belt system worked in, which is over a hundred pounds. So you're looking at 165 pounds for that Salomon system. Comparing it to the Sherpa shorts of 49 pounds and then Commando underwear at 15 pounds. So 64 pounds, a fraction of the price when comparing it to that Salomon stuff. But you still get a very similar performance when it comes to a short and belt system. For a first experience running in a new brand, this really has been a good one. So let's wrap this up with a quick conclusion. And if I'm honest, it's gonna be a very simple conclusion. So if you're on the lookout for some nice, lightweight, highly breathable, super technical running apparel that is packed full of great attention to detail, whether it be shorts, underwear, or technical tees, then I couldn't recommend enough going along to the T8 Run website, checking out what they have on offer because it really has been a pleasure to run in. So that is a wrap on another episode in our running apparel review series here at the channel. Really hope you enjoyed it guys, really hope you found it helpful and hopefully it brought to your attention a new running apparel brand that you hadn't heard of before. I've left links in the description for T8 Run. If you wanna go along to their website and check out what they've got on offer or you wanna find out more about the brand, please feel free to do so. Also have to say a massive thanks to the brand for sending down the kit to test for this review. Um, but it doesn't stop there guys, they've also been kind enough to give the Run For Adventure viewers a bit of a discount code. So if you do go along and you find anything you wanna purchase, then just put in 50-Run For Adventure and that should give you a bit of a saving on any new kit that you purchase. I am happy to say that I am back running a little bit more consistently at the moment after all those niggles and injuries that I've been having throughout the year and we've been testing out some great new products that have been sent down to Run For Adventure. Shoes, clothing, lots of stuff coming your way. So it's gonna be a very busy build up to Christmas here. Lots of videos to make, lots of videos to edit for you guys at home. But uh, if you've enjoyed this video guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come and join the Run For Adventure family. We will see you back here very soon, but as always, stay safe and keep on running. <laughs>